There are many antibiotic-resistant strains of bacteria that can colonize or infect nursing home residents. But there are three that are most common, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, vancomycin-resistant enterococci, or VRE, and extended-spectrum beta-lactamase-producing E. coli, or ESBL E. coli. Staphylococcus aureus, or staph, is a very common germ that about one out of every three people has on their skin or in their nose, but only 2% of those carry MRSA. This germ does not cause any problems for most people who have it on their skin. But sometimes it can cause serious infections, such as skin or wound infections, pneumonia, or infections in the blood. Antibiotics are given to kill staph germs when they cause infections. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, is a type of staph that is resistant to some of the antibiotics that are often used to treat staph infections, making it tougher to treat. Vancomycin-resistant enterococci, VRE, are a type of bacteria called enterococci that have developed resistance to many antibiotics, especially vancomycin. Enterococcal bacteria live in our intestines, usually without causing problems. Enterococcal bacteria become a problem when they cause infection. These infections can occur anywhere in the body. Some common sites include the gallbladder, the urinary tract, and wounds. For some people, especially those who are weak or ill, these infections can become serious. E. coli are a very common bacteria that normally live harmlessly in the gut and are one of the most common bacteria-causing infections in humans, particularly urinary tract infections, or UTIs. These infections can sometimes progress to cause more serious infections, such as kidney infections, or spread to the blood, which can be life-threatening. ESBL-producing strains are bacteria that produce an enzyme called extended-spectrum beta-lactamase, which makes them more resistant to many commonly used antibiotics and makes the infections harder to treat. In many instances, only a very limited group of antibiotics remain effective against ESBL-producing E. coli. Bacteria that are resistant to the effects of certain antibiotics are more difficult to treat. The bad news is that bacteria are becoming more resistant, not less, so a microbe that is resistant to many drugs becomes difficult or even impossible to treat. Because antibiotic-resistant bacteria are more difficult to treat, residents that become infected by one or more bad bugs often do worse and are sicker for longer periods of time. This is due in part to delays in detection and correct treatment and the presence of multiple medical conditions that are made worse by the infection. Because nursing home residents live in close proximity to other persons and interact often, antibiotic-resistant bacteria can spread quickly among residents. The quick spread may also be attributable to frequent contact with potentially contaminated surfaces and persons. Nursing home residents are frequently colonized with one or more antibiotic-resistant bacteria. A majority of these are already colonized or infected when they are admitted. This is a concern because the more residents colonized or infected with antibiotic-resistant bacteria, the more likely transmission between residents will occur. Previously on Gowns and Gloves, the MRSA outbreak continues to spread, and rumors of improper standard precautions are spreading like wildfire. Is it possible that someone isn't washing their hands? Could the spread of MRSA have been stopped in its tracks? And how is Mrs. Houston going to like her new room in the MRSA contaminated wing? Find out on Gowns and Gloves. I'm ready. Oh, am I ready? But you know what? I still can't believe we got Dr. Kennedy to admit me here after my hip surgery. But you know what? We won't have long before they discharge me. So we'd better act very quickly. Mm. It's fortunate that we're here. I've arranged with the director of nurses to have Priscilla be our nurse for the day so we can get some one-on-one -on -one time with her. You're kidding. you got to be good for you. You're going to be for great, darling. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Um, Mr. Houston, may I speak with you for a moment in the hallway? Yes. What is it? I need to tell you something important about your wife. Do you remember a few days ago when I took that swab of her nose? Yes. Well, we were looking for a bacteria called MRSA. It turns out she has it. 
a cut. Really? Actually, you need to clarify here. Mrs. Houston is colonized, not infected. She has the bacteria on her body, but isn't showing symptoms of infection. Residents who are colonized and have wounds are more likely to become infected. Think of it like this. Let's, let's try this very simple example. Think of a swimming pool as you, your body. And the folks sitting on the deck of the pool, well, they're the germs just relaxing in the sun. Well, that's colonization. The MRSA bacteria is alive and well and perfectly happy just sitting on the sidelines, like in your nose, your armpits, your growing, on the outside of your body. Well, as time passes, the pool starts to look pretty inviting. A few folk jump in, and before you know it, there's a crazy party going on in the pool. Well, that's like infection. The MRSA bacteria has invaded your sterile tissue, which is the pool, and has now begun to thrive and multiply causing symptoms of MRSA infection, which makes you sick. That is really interesting. All right, let's set up and go again. Ready? Come on. <clears throat> and action. We were looking for a bacterium called MRSA when we took a swab of your wife's nose. It did show that she's colonized with MRSA. Colonized? Yes, the bacterium is in her nose, which likely indicates to us that it's on her skin and in other parts of her body as well. Sounds serious. How did she get it? Well... Cut! Oh, really? Dimitri, you were scared in the scene. I want, I want to see it in your face. Dimitri, the reason you are scared is that MRSA is a resistant bacteria that if it causes infection, it causes folks to get sicker and stay sick for longer. Hmm. Yeah. So infected residents are also more likely to die from this type of resistant infections than non-resistant forms of the same bacteria. Your wife is at an increased risk because of the, the, the wound that she has from surgery. It makes it easier for the MRSA to get past the skin barrier and cause a serious infection. So remember, remember, concerned here. And... It sounds so serious. What do we do to protect Elaine? I'm glad you asked. As a precautionary measure to our other residents, we're going to be moving Mrs. Houston down the hall to a private room to reduce the risk of spreading the MRSA to other residents. We'll be moving her shortly, and then I'll be back to tell you what's going on and what you can do to help. 